Jesus said that everyone who does evil hates the light and does not come into the light for fear that his deeds will be exposed. Many believe that the drive for a new world order is a secret operation and that those who are aware of its true intent know full well that what they are planning is a kingdom of evil. Seven days before his tragic assassination, President John F. Kennedy is alleged to have said, there exists in this country a plot to enslave every man, woman, and child. Before I leave this high and noble office, I intend to expose this plot. But Kennedy was not the first to speak of such things. John F. Hyland, the mayor of New York from 1918 to 1925 said, the real menace of our republic is the invisible government, which like a giant octopus, sprawls its slimy length over our city, state, and nation. World War II General Douglas MacArthur said, I am concerned for the security of our great nation, not so much because of any threat from without, but because of the insidious forces working from within. Supreme Court Justice Felix Frankfurter is quoted saying, the real rulers in Washington are invisible and exercise their power from behind the scenes. Even President Woodrow Wilson supported such claims. Today, the White House website reports that Wilson, quote, asserted international leadership in building a new world order. However, in 1913, Wilson wrote these words in a work titled, The New Freedom. He said, some of the biggest men in the United States are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they had better not speak above their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. But is this secret power only at work in America? A century earlier, English Prime Minister Benjamin Disraeli wrote, the world is governed by very different personages from what is imagined by those who are not behind the scenes. Disraeli warned of a worldwide conspiracy in 1876 when he said, the governments of the present day have to deal not merely with other governments, with emperors, kings, and ministers, but also with the secret societies, which have everywhere their unscrupulous agents and can, at the last moment, upset all the government's plans. In 1920, the Christian Science Monitor wrote that what is important is the increasing evidence of the existence of a secret conspiracy throughout the world for the destruction of organized government and the letting loose of evil. While much has been written and said about various conspiracy theories, the Bible makes it clear that the world conspiracy is ultimately against God himself. King David wrote, why do the nations conspire and the peoples plot in vain? Their kings revolt, their rulers plot together against the Lord and against the king he chose.